What is going on everybody? Welcome to lesson three. In this lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to create a business manager and I'm also going to show you the difference between your business manager and the Facebook ads account. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is go to business.facebook.com. Once you go to business.facebook.com, this is the screen that you're going to see. This is the website that you're going to see. On the top right corner, you're going to see a button. It says create account. Click on that button, log in with your Facebook, uh, just follow the steps, and there you go. You're going to be done. That is your business manager. What I want to do now is go over here to my whiteboard and I wanna show you the difference between your Facebook business manager and your Facebook ads account. So I want you to, I want you to imagine, this is your Facebook business manager. Now what do you do with your Facebook business manager? As you can see in this screen right here, I have four Facebook business managers. I have one with five ads account and the rest of them don't really matter. I was just doing them for testing. This is the e-business for us business account, which is where I used to run ads for builder all. Now I run ads for builder all in this account right here. Now, what is the difference? Why is it good? Your Facebook business manager is where you're going to manage your free, your Facebook ads account. Well, that's right here. Facebook ads account one, Facebook ads account two, Facebook ads account three, Facebook ads account four, and Facebook ads account five. If you're running ads, you're gonna wanna run ads uh, for different products or different services in different ads accounts. Why? Because, you know, Facebook, they have a bunch of policies. You can only install one pixel, which you're gonna understand what pixel is later on. Now, I run ads for Builder All. I run ads for social tasking. I run ads for my personal um, businesses. I run ads for, for different things for different clients. Now, if you have a agency, if you have a marketing agency, you want to create one different ads account for each different client. Why? Because one, you can put your credit card, uh, you can put a different credit card in each different ads account and you can have different Facebook campaigns with ad sets, your actual ads with different mockups inside a Facebook ads account and your Facebook business manager controls the whole thing. Now, what if you're running ads uh, for your Builder All account and you get blocked? What you wanna do is you just create a different one and you run ads over here. If you only have one Facebook ads account and you get blocked, you lose everything. So that's why you need to create a Facebook business manager because inside the business manager, you have different ads accounts of which you run different ads inside those business uh, ads accounts. Is that clear? Do you guys understand that? Hopefully you guys did. Uh, what I want to show you in the next lesson is how to create your individual ads accounts. So what do you do? You go to Facebook, you log into your Facebook business manager. Inside your business manager, you choose the different ads accounts you want to run ads to. So let's say you want to run ads for uh, one of your gym clients, for example. You go to their gym clients ads account and you run ads. What's cool about this is that you don't necessarily have to create ads accounts for different clients. If they have an ads account, you can grab their ads account and connect it to your business. So that's another reason why you should be creating your Facebook business manager because you can have your Facebook business manager and you can be running ads for 10, 15, 20, 100 different clients without creating one ads account. What do you do? You ask their permission, uh, they send over their um, Facebook ads account to you and you run ads through your business manager inside their ads account. Hopefully you understood that. What I wanna do is go to the next lesson. I don't wanna show you inside the computer. It's pretty self-explanatory. You go to um, business.facebook.com. You now you log into your Facebook, create your account, and that's it. What I wanna do in the next lesson is show you how to create the individual ads accounts. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more content. Don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. If you liked it, uh, make sure to give it a like, whatever, share this video. And I'll see you in the next lesson where we're gonna be looking into how, how you can create your Facebook ads account. Thanks so much and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.